the Market Square. Ringed by restaurant terraces, great old gabled buildings, and the bell tower marks the city center today as it did in its medieval heyday. Back then, a canal came right to this main square. Farmers in the countryside would ship their wool and flax into Bruges. Before loading it onto outgoing boats, industrious locals would maximize their profit by dyeing, spinning, and weaving it into finished textiles. The bell tower has stood over Market Square since 1300. Climb the 366 steps for a commanding view. The tower houses a grand carillon. Rather than fingers, the carillon player uses his fists and feet. Grab a bench in the courtyard to enjoy one of the regular and free Carillon concerts. The opulent square called Burg, Bruges' historical birthplace, political center, and religious heart, is decorated with six centuries of fine architecture. The square's historic highlight is the Basilica of the Holy Blood, the gleaming gold knights and ladies on the church's facade remind us that this church was built by a crusader in the 12th century to house the drops of Christ's blood which he brought back from Jerusalem. Inside the basilica, the stark decor reeks of the medieval piety that drove those crusading European Christians on their holy war against the Muslims. With heavy columns and round arches, the style is pure Romanesque. Stairs lead to the brighter Gothic-style upper chapel. The painting at the altar tells how the Holy Blood actually got here. Derek of Alsace helped conquer Muslim-held Jerusalem in the Second Crusade. Here, he kneels before the grateful Christian patriarch of Jerusalem, who rewards him with the relic. Derek returns home and kneels before Bruges' bishop to give him the vial of blood. Next door is the town hall. 15th century Bruges was a thriving bastion of capitalism, and this building served as a model for town halls elsewhere, including Brussels. One of Europe's first representative governments convened right here. In the adjoining room, old paintings and maps show how little the city has changed over the centuries. This map shows in exquisite detail the city as it looked in 1562 when a canal connected the North Sea to the Market Square. A fortified moat circles the city. Of the town's 28 windmills, four survive today. The mills made paper, ground grain, and functioned as the motor of the Middle Ages. My favorite way to explore Bruges is on two wheels. Just about anywhere in Europe where the biking's good, you'll find handy and inexpensive bike rentals. Get lost on the back streets, away from the shopping and the tour groups. <laughs> 